G'day guys, Josh here, and I'm just going to run you through a very quick video. This is uh, a quick video just to show you everything that I've done with my $20,000 business model and how I can do something similar for you. Um, so I'm going to run through it very quickly from the beginning, take you all the way through to the end and show you all the working parts and how it is possible to generate $20,000 plus with this model and how you can scale it from zero to uh, $20,000 mark too. So uh, I'll start from the very beginning here uh, with the colour coding. The colour coding is very simple. I've got the uh, bright green colours here. That's for all of my traffic decisions. So um, that measures whether I've got cold traffic, warm traffic or hot traffic, um, which is something that I can explain in a first video. Um, but those are just about what those things are. So that's, that's pretty relevant only to traffic and nothing else um, related to the pipeline here. I've also got um, my orange cards, which are for customers uh, that are problem aware, solution aware, or product aware. Now, uh, there are three different stages that your customers are going to be in. Um, so, if a customer is not problem aware, they're not going to be able to purchase from you because they're not aware that they have a problem that they need solved. Um, so, ideally, you want to be bringing customers from problem aware through to solution aware. Once a customer is solution aware, um, they're going to then be aware that they have a problem and they have a problem that can be solved. Uh, lastly, you want to get them to product aware, so uh, now that they're aware that there is a product out there for them, you want them to be directed towards your product. Um, so in my example, I use the Expert Secrets book. Um, that is a product that I like to promote because it's something that I read uh, just about every single day. When I'm referring to it, because actually I'm sitting on my desk for 24 hours a day. Um, so that, that's why I promote that, because it's something that I actually use every single day. I know that it's very valuable for people. Uh, and that's a product that I choose um, to include in my pipeline here. Now I've got all of my um, pink ones uh, along here, all my pink cards here. Now they're actually all for automatic action, actions that are um, done by my phone. So from start to finish, anything that's pink is actually automatically done. Anything that is yellow here is stuff that I have to do myself. So what you can actually see just from looking at it from a perspective right here is that the majority of the funnel is actually automatic and that's the best part about this whole thing. Uh, if you don't have a, a funnel that can essentially run itself without any input, uh, then it becomes very difficult to scale it up because the more you scale, the more you have to put in your own effort. Um, so that's why I've made the majority of it automatic and I can show you how to do that too. So I'll start it from the very beginning. Um, first, I've got my uh, target market via Facebook. I target those people um, through Facebook rather than Google or Bing because there is some very, very specific targeting based on interests and based on liked pages and things like that, which you can't get from Google and the demographics are just superior. Um, so I start with Facebook, I start with Facebook advertising and I send people through um, to my funnel. I also generate um, traffic through my funnel through three other different methods that I have to perform. The first one is Qora, Yahoo and blogs. Uh, I contribute value to people that are commenting and asking questions and needing support. I send them over to my um, funnel after that, as well as um, discussing and building authority in, in Facebook groups and also YouTube uh, comments as well. Then I send them through to my quiz page. The quiz page is actually my bait. Um, so what I mean by bait is something that provides a quick little instant amount of value um, to a customer, something that wants to bring them on board um, very easily. Uh, it requires a very low barrier to entry for them. It's usually, if not always, free. And it's basically just to get someone on board. It, it, it's something that can catch someone while they're, for example, scrolling down their newsfeed. Uh, it's something that they can just jump onto straight away without having any second thoughts about it. Because uh, as soon as they're in here and they've taken your bait, you're able to grab their email address and first name, ideally your, their last name as well, just for future purposes. Um, but first name and just the email is okay anyway. Once you've got that, you can then move them through to your pipeline. The importance of having an email here is that if someone enters your pipeline, doesn't make a purchase, you're still able to retarget them without having to then repay for Facebook advertising or Google advertising, because you've got that email address and it doesn't actually cost you anything to send them out another email. Anyway, so moving on from here, uh, you actually provide the, the value here. So for example, uh, I send out a quiz um, and I send the results of said quiz. Uh, the quiz is a real quiz. It doesn't have just like fake dead end answers that provide the same thing every single time because that doesn't really provide much value to your customers. It only really sends them on a one track thing. I like to give some real value here because it's, it's very easy to differentiate differentiate yourself from someone who's providing something for real and someone who's just doing it as a gimmick. So. 
Um, I move them on to two separate pathways here. The first pathway is my email pathway. That's this one just here. I do have three sequences set up. So I have my first one, which is an automatic sequence um, that is automatically sending them out the results of their quiz and then putting them onto a five day email sequence. Now this email sequence is meant to be high drama, high energy and high impact, as well as provide a lot of content and value. Um, and for that, that, that reason is because um, it increases your email clicks, essentially. Um, you wanna get as many opens as possible in those first few days because you get as much engagement as possible and you build as much uh, trust from the very beginning. If you're not building trust from the beginning, it is a lot harder to try and get it back because the customers don't believe that you're actually gonna be able to provide them value in the future and they're much less likely to open your emails. Uh, so we start with a really high impact um, one to five day sequence here and then move them on to something more generic. Now I use the Seinfeld sequence, which is something that I, you actually get taught in the dot-com sequence book, which I mentioned just before. Um, that Seinfeld sequence is actually something that is more like episodic content. Um, stuff that comes out day after day after day. You start it from day one and go through all the way to day 365 uh, and, and beyond. As soon as someone finishes their first one to five day video, uh, sorry, email sequence, they're then added into the Seinfeld sequence. The beauty of that is that no matter what, what time someone jumps onto that, they're just gonna keep on getting fresh emails every single day. They're gonna start from one and they're gonna go all the way through to the end as long as you keep that email uh, um, generation going. So for my example, I have an email list already um, banked, up about, uh, banked up of about 200 emails. So as soon as someone joins, it's gonna take them 200 repeat messages before they even catch up to where I am right now. Uh, and that's daily content that comes out um, that is providing a great deal of value and it's something that keeps on um, building that engagement and relevance through your customers as well. You can also spice in some videos into the mix as well just to provide a name, a, a face to the name and also give a different form of uh, content provide, uh, provision because it's very bland reading through emails every single day. It, it's nice to have someone read to you or show you a graphic or something like that as well. Anyway, so I'm going to move on very quickly to these stages here because I'm rambling on a little bit now. Um, so I'm going to forward them directly onto a video article on my blog. So that comes off of the quiz results and forwards them directly to the blog. And that also serves as a sales platform um, for a split test that I've got going on here. So the split test is for the .com secrets book or the expert secrets book. Both of them I've both read. They're both very valuable. I actually prefer the, ex uh, sorry, the .com secrets book because it focuses more on building a business rather than building yourself as a brand. Uh, and that's a major distinction that I like to um, provide to my customers as well. Um, so I get a commission based on either of these sales and then I move them on to another step in the pipeline. Now this is the value ladder right here and this is the stuff that separates successful internet marketers from not uh, very successful internet marketers. Because you see at the end of the day you've got a uh, dollar coming in here. Let's use an example of um, it cost me a dollar to get a client at this step in the funnel. By the time they get to here, after being filtered out through all of my pages, I may only get about one in 10 customers. And if it's costing me a dollar per customer to get them all the way up to here, and I'm only making $1 commission, the problem with that is that I'm gonna be losing $9 on each transaction, and that's not gonna be uh, very good for me. I'm not gonna be in business very long. So the way I actually increase that is by then providing more steps in the value ladder. What I mean by that is providing higher value items that customers are then able to continue to purchase, because that means that while they're already in the pipeline, I'm gonna be able to keep on selling to them and I'm gonna be able to increase my revenue per transaction. I'll be able to increase my revenue per lead by a great deal. So for example, if I'm only making a dollar per um, acquisition on this one here, but then I'm selling another product along the line here, um, which is my own for another $40 on top, uh, then I'm making then $41 per transaction and it may only be costing me $10 to get someone up to this point. So I'm still making $31 profit. The beauty about that is that it may only, uh, I may not be able to get someone here for $10. I may only be able to get someone up here for $30, but that's not a problem because I'm making $45 per transaction as opposed to 30. So, uh, as opposed to one, sorry. So that's the beauty of adding in a value ladder. Uh, it's always good to keep on adding more and more and more things because you're going to get some clients that purchase all the way up your value ladder and they're gonna to have to stop basically where you stop selling them products. Uh, at the end of the day, you never know if someone's gonna keep on buying something more from you because you haven't given them that offering. So having something extra that they can actually purchase from you is really, really powerful. 
Uh, and the last step in my value ladder is the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now that's where I come back in. So this is not the automatic stuff anymore. That's where I come back in and I start offering my own personal one-on-one -on -one coaching. The reason why it's at the end of the uh, value ladder is because, uh, and actually to be honest with you, this is just about as automatic as can be too, because I can set up my own appointment times and people can just apply for uh, those appointments in there too. So. Uh, the reason why I've set that all the way at the back is because I can then actually uh, ensure that people have come all the way across this value ladder here. They've got an understanding and we're all going to be speaking the same language. If someone goes from the Facebook ad all the way to the coaching, if I try and teach them how to build a business like this and they have no idea where to start and they don't know what any of these concepts mean, it's going to be very difficult for me to actually try and serve them at a high level because I'm going to have to be explaining the basics to them. So that's the only reason why that's all the way at the end. If anyone does have any questions about this do let me know send me an email uh, or shoot me a message on Facebook I'm just about always available so feel free to just give me a chat uh, until next time you guys enjoy your day thank you so much for stopping by thank you for taking the quiz and I hope you guys are grabbing some awesome value from this too awesome take care see you later